I had a dog named Darley, a bastard bag of bones. A smelly, slobbering, malting, mobile, flea retirement home. I ripped up lounges, barked and howled and bit the postman's ass. But the bottom line was when it dined on my prize book of art. Six centuries of masterpieces shredded on the spot. From Rembrandt through to Renoir, it ate the friggin' lot. Soon afterwards, he got the run. And went and laid a cable, a stinking, steaming, festering turd on the dining table. <laughs> and no word of a lie, strike me dead if I don't tell the truth, but in that pile of dog shit was etched a bowl of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Grapes, peaches, plums, and pears. Not brilliant, but not bad. About a primary level, Darley's tail just wagged. Well, in the days that followed, the weirdness kept a pace. Each turd the Darley dumped seemed to contain a, a scene or a face. <laughs> the works were no great shakes at first, etchings rough and crude. But gradually, the lines grew strong. The complexity improved. He started dealing out Ken Dones <laughs> in sunny diarrhea. <laughs> Until the Jackson Pollock <laughs> exploded from his rear. <laughs> But the brown poles, that were nothing to what he had rehearsed. One fine day a Monet came in a fragrant burst. He laid down water lilies outside the butcher shop. Even as the butcher kicked his ass, he had to stop. Fuck me, drink! The meat man cried. He's a clever little tyke. Well, I don't know that much about art, but I don't know what I like. <laughs> the dog's a friggin' genius. With talent true and class, mark my words, these are turds from a dog with a golden ass. <laughs> well, word got round about the hound with the golden ass, and agents flocked from everywhere to ascertain his class. Crapping for the cameras, he shat a melting watch, <laughs> followed by a burning giraffe in vindaloo spots. Twelve turds exact in shape and size saw him on a roll when the crowd exclaimed as one, My God, he's done a war hole. <laughs> the critics all adored him. His depth and range were myriad, from pooey pointillism to a painful cubist period. <laughs> But one, then one day, <laughs> then one day his heart dried up. When instead of a tiger or bird, Dali did what appeared to be just an ordinary turd. <laughs> and yet the frenzy didn't abate. In fact, the critics came to rate this as a statement of a major genius. <laughs> Renouncing this past to boldly embrace a new phase of dogism. <laughs> Huddling around each fresh deposit, they'd say, Surely this act of primitivism speaks of a quest for redemption in an essentially amoral void. <laughs> it is the work of an auteur shattering as with an anvil the fractured singularity of the schismic lit motif of the Sandusic Weitkreuzt. <laughs> A viciously satirical skewering of the materialistic squalor at the heart of art's existential crossroads. <laughs> the art in the beast, the beast in the art, wheels within wheels, Russian dolls, Freud's penis, pick up the washing, pay the phone bill, eggs, milk, bread, cheese, oh shit, that's my shopping list. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, this is genius, sheer genius, surely you'd have to <laughs> and I'd look at them, look at the turd and say, actually, no, mate, it looks like shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the walk the streets soon grew too hard, so I kept Dali in the yard. But the art world started crowding the fence and numbers growing and immense until I cracked and said, OK, would you like to see some art? Yes, yes, they cried. Bring us the master. His work so in the heart. And so I pointed out one of Dali's turds glistening in the sun and said, watch this artwork carefully. I call it hit and run. <laughs> and as they watched with bated breath, I started up the mower, pointed it toward the turd and ran! <laughs> 
run the damn thing over. It pureed in a slippery swirl and showered all in view. The critics howled, Barbarian, what skill of style are you? How dare you vandalize genius? What gives you the right? Although others were divided and argued into the night as to whether this destruction of great art was in fact in itself a, a great art happening. <laughs> but now, thank Christ, the art world's finally frowned a brand new, brand new flunky with the chance discovery of a vomiting Sumatran monkey. <laughs> and our life is back to normal, unremarkable and quiet, and I say to myself, I don't know about shit, but I know what I like. <laughs> and Dali, it's no problem, but he's still ill-behaved. I bought him his own house to wreck with all the dough he made. He's free to rip up lounges and shit where it comes to pass. He's even taken up piano. The dog with a golden ass. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.